guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a writing update. So if you guys noticed, there was no writing vlog in May, and there's a couple different reasons for that. One, I find that I'm consistently um, filming and uploading reading vlogs. I tend to forget about the writing vlog, it's just like too much for my brain. So there's one reason for that, and then the other one is I went on vacation for a week on a cruise to Alaska, and so I didn't do any writing then, and I was kind of really busy before going, trying to prepare for the vacation, and then I was slumpy and in a rut when I came back and didn't feel like doing anything. Um, if you guys know, when you come back from a vacation, sometimes it's really hard to get back into your routine and get back to like normal life. So I really, really struggled for the whole month of May to get any writing done. So even if I had filmed a writing vlog, it wouldn't have been worth it to upload and share with you guys because I just didn't do a whole lot. Um, so I thought that it would be perfect time to do a writing update to kind of update you on what has been happening with my writing and then also talk about Camp NaNoWriMo because next month July is Camp NaNoWriMo and I plan on participating so um, I've got lots to talk about today so let's just get started with the writing update. To catch you guys up if you don't remember I wrote a book last year called Reasons Why Not To. I printed it out. This is the first completed draft and I reread through it and decided that it needed it needed to rewrite. The second draft was going to be more than just like revising and editing. It needed a re like a new outline and it needed to be rewritten. And so that's kind of what I've been working on this entire year is working on getting this book rewritten. So I've already rewritten the first act of the book. I did that back in April's Camp Panorama and it's just over 20,000 words. I wrote that. And now I've been working on act two and act three's outline so that I can write those acts and continue on with the story. So it's been really, really difficult. So I don't know when I last talked to you guys about this, but I managed, I think, to get the full outline, like, brief outline done before I left. It was either before I left for vacation or, like, shortly after I came back. I feel like it was before I left, but I can't remember. I got the brief outline done, and I was feeling kind of, like, ant eh about it, and I was feeling really down about it. But since then, I've managed to return to it and slowly be adding more detail. Um, I finished one read-through of the outline with adding some detail um, and some specifics to each scene. I split it into chapters, finally, which is really exciting. Um, I'm not, like, 100% pleased with how the chapters are separated, but I can always change that later. Now, I'm working on my second my second run through of the outline. I made a to-do list talking about what I want to do for the next following run throughs. Um, I've made two changes recently, as of recently, I mean yesterday, to the outline for act two and what I want to change within the story. Um, and I'm really excited about both of them. One of them affects act one, so in revisions after this draft, I am gonna have to rewrite a scene and like rework some stuff, kind of incorporate this new idea. But yes, yeah, so I need to go through the outline and I kind of just like want to go through and string these ideas in. So I'm going to focus on one of them at a time and string everything in to make sure that it's seamless and it goes with everything and it all makes sense and it's like cohesive. So let's get into Camp NaNoWriMo. So my plan for Camp NaNoWriMo is to start writing Act 2. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish all of Act 2 but um, I want to at least start it. So my goal originally for the month was to write 50,000 words in 31 days of July. But considering how I'm just now getting back into things and I'm just getting back into my normal routine, it's taken me a long time to get out of this like rut and mental health issues since coming back from my vacation, but I'm finally getting out of it. I'm filming again, I'm reading again, and I'm writing again, which is just amazing. So I don't want to like force myself to do so much. Plus July tends to be a busy month for me. I want to do a lot of reading. I want to hopefully participate in some readathons. It's also my birthday month, so like things are happening. I don't want to force myself to write so much in a month. So I think I'm going to lower it down to 30,000 words because I have already set up my Camp Nano project and it does say 50,000 words. I'm going to have to go back in and edit it to be only 30,000 words, which since there are 31 days in July, that goes about to be 968 words per day, which really is not a lot. I still might aim to hit the word count goal 
for 50,000 words because I would like to try to write that much. I just don't want to have that pressure of the number and the goal on the NaNoWriMo site. I just don't want to force myself to do that. I want it to be more natural. So I am hoping to write most of Act 2 in July. Probably not all of it, but most of it. And then hopefully then in August, I can possibly finish the book or get close to finishing the, the book or the second draft anyways. I have quite a few things I need to do before Camp NaNoWriMo starts. Um, I need to complete that to-do list for my outline and just make sure all the detail is added as much as I possibly can add, dialogue, things like that. And then I also need to make sure that I go through and add all of those new ideas that I have. Another thing that I really need to do is I need to go back to draft one and read through it go to these sticky notes in the side because I have, like this isn't like a total, total rewrite. Like I'm just disregarding this first draft. I'm just fixing it and improving the base skeleton that's already here and just expanding upon it um, and so there are some lines and some scenes in this draft that I am either reworking to be changed slightly with the context or just taking lines like in quotes directly from this draft so I do have like some things that are like sectioned off with sticky notes um, and I have notes and things that are highlighted that I want to put into my outline. I did the same thing for Act 1, so I need to go back, read through this, and write those things into my outline so I make sure that I know where they are in here so I can reference them and know what's happening for what I'm writing next month. Another thing that I need to, to do is I want to read through Act 1 of Draft 2 that I wrote back in April. Just I've already started, um, but I haven't been doing it recently, but I have started reading through it. I'm still, I think, in the first or second chapter, um, I'm near the beginning, and I just want to finish reading it. That way I can know where I left off, get the tone for what I was writing, and then continue on with, with Act 2. So I'm really, really excited about this. I was feeling really, really good about writing last night. It just started flowing, and it felt so good to be writing again. Um, it's literally my least favorite thing when I'm not writing and when I'm not able to write. And when I came back from my vacation, I was feeling, I don't know, like I said, I was in a rut. My mental health was feeling really, really low. Like, I was feeling awful about myself and about life and everything. And so I found it really, really difficult to get myself to do anything. And normally when I'm feeling low or when I'm, when I'm not in a good mood, I turn to the things that I love, like filming or reading or writing. And I couldn't even bring myself to read or write. Like I would turn my laptop on and I would just stare at it for a long time and not do anything. Like, and it was really, really discouraging for a long time. Any of my friends can vouch for this. It was a really, really tough time for me. Just. I feel so happy right now to be in a place where it's easier for me and it's getting better and things are getting back to normal. It feels so, so good and I'm so grateful um, that this rut isn't lasting longer than it already has. Um, I'm finally getting out of it and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and it's amazing. That's kind of everything going on with me writing related. Uh, Camp NaNoWriMo, I'm really excited, happy to be back into writing. Uh, so that's kind of just everything that has been happening. I really just wanted to update you on kind of what's happening, what's going to be happening um, in my writing life. Look forward to um, June's writing vlog, which I'm currently filming. So thank you guys for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. Give it a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys have been working on recently writing-wise and if you will be participating in Camp NaNoWriMo. Subscribe if you have not yet already and I will see you guys next time. Bye!